My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The scripture is Matthew 27, 46, and also Mark 15 and 34. And it says, And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Picture this. You are walking down the street carrying a heavy load. You are being ridiculed. You're being beaten and you're being spat on. People are yelling at you, screaming at you, and calling you names. You're wondering, what did I do to deserve this kind of treatment? Yes, this is what Jesus went through. He carried the cross that, was going to be cru- that he was going to be crucified on. Jesus felt hurt and pain. Why? Because he was not only divine, he was human. He had to feel this so that he would know and know what we feel like and how we're going to feel. What, what was he experiencing? He was experiencing hurt, sadness, pain, agony as he walked through the streets carrying that old rugged cross. And after all this, he had to be nailed to that cross. He was nailed by his feet and his hands. And he was pierced in the side, and he had thorns on his head. Jesus felt pain just like we feel pain. And after all of this, it is time for him to be hung on the cross. And it was about 9 a.m. And during this time, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He said, Today you shall meet me in paradise. And then he said, Woman, behold thy son. Three hours had passed by. And now it's 12 noon, and the Bible says darkness fell upon the earth. Imagine yourself being confined to one spot for three whole hours. After carrying the weight of the cross, after being after the burdens of your having burdens on you and the beatings that you had to suffer through. Just imagine you standing there, not having any food to eat, not having any drink to drink not even able to use the restroom. So when darkness falls, you can either do one or two things. You can go to sleep or or your mind will start to wonder and you start to think on things. I could imagine Jesus had a lot on his mind. He was going through the events of the day from from that time to this time. Now, he was thinking about all the beatings he had endured. He was thought about what he was going to, how he was going to take care of his mother. And that's why he said, woman, behold thy son. He thought about his brothers and his disciples. And that's why he said, son, behold thy mother. He thought about the thieves on the cross. And that's why he said, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. When you know you are going to die, a lot of things are going to go through your mind. And you start to feel the pain and the agony and the hurt that everything has done to you. So I could imagine Jesus was feeling some type of way. So he shouts, he cries out with a loud voice, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Jesus was letting us know that it is okay to cry out to God. 1 Peter 5 and 7 says, Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. So when you cry out to God and cast your care upon him, he, you may not know, he, you may not get an answer, You may not get an answer right away, or you may not get an answer at all. So when darkness comes in your life, cry out to God and tell him all about your troubles. He will hear your faintest cry. He will answer you by and by. He knows how much you can bear. You may be in your dark place right now. You may be going through with your children. You may be going through with your friends. God knows how much you can bear. You may be going through with your family members. You may be going through on your job. God knows how much you can bear. This may be your darkest hour. Your dark place may be fear. Your dark place may be depression. Your dark place may be sickness. You may have been abused. You may have been robbed. You may have been lied on. You may have been talked about. You may have been misused. The morning God's going to get you in the morning. In the morning God's going to make it all right. When it seems like there may not be a way out, 
When it seems like you can't get a prayer through. When it seems like the devil is on your back. When it seems like your cross is too heavy to bear. When it seems like you have done all you can do. Just stand because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. When darkness comes over your life, just know that God is right there. When darkness comes over your life, cast that care on him. When darkness comes over your life, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. If God is for me, who can be against me? He will give you peace that passes all understanding. When darkness come over your life, just know that we've been made endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. <laughs>